Hello everyone and welcome to another episode, another edition of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be talking about a brother by the name of Archie Alexander. Now Archie Alexander was an engineer, a mathematician, a businessman, and an architect. And he's responsible for um, building a lot of things in Washington, D.C., such as the Baltimore-Washington Parkway Extension, the Whitehurst Freeway, and the Tidal Basin Bridge, just to name a few. Now, just to give a little background um, history on Archie Alexander, he was born May 14th in 1888 in Iowa, the, coming from a large family, the oldest of nine children, who had an early interest in education that was bestowed upon him by his parents. Now, he graduated from high school in 1905, and with his parents' help, and with earnings from a few part-time jobs, Archie Alexander attended Highland Park College and Cummings Art College in Iowa before entering the University of Iowa in 1908 to study engineering. Now, Archie Alexander was the only black student at the university at that time. He played tackle for the school's varsity football team, earning the nickname Alexander the Great for his football prowess. And during his summers, Archie worked as a draftsman for Marsh Engineers, an Iowa bridge designing firm, and in 1912 he received the Bachelor's of Science, becoming the University of Iowa's first African-American student to complete the engineering program. Now, After graduating and initially finding difficulty to find a job during that time, he was hired by a Marsh Engineering Company in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where he was in charge of the bridge building program in Iowa and in Minnesota. In 1917, Archie Alexander left Marsh to form his own engineering company with, a, with another contractor by the name of George F. Higby, who was a white man. And they started their own um, business together during this time. And within that, within that same time as him running this business with George Higby, he continued his education at the University of London, where in 1921 he took coursework in bridge design. He obtained his civil engineering degree from Iowa State University in 1925. With, with George Higby, they designed the Tuskegee Airfield as well as the Iowa State University's heating and cooling system. The partnership ended in 1925 after George Higby died in a, in a construction accident. In 1929, Archie Alexander teamed up with a former classmate of his in the, from the University of Iowa Maurice A. Repass to form the engineering firm Alexander and Repass, and they were responsible for numerous roads and bridges in, in Washington, D.C. area, um, some that we mentioned earlier, the Whitehurst Parkway or Freeway and the Tidal Basin Bridge, as well as the extension to the Baltimore-Washington Parkway. So whenever you're driving on those roads, you can thank Archie Alexander for being the one who created or designed these roadways to make it easy to travel around in the D.C. area. In 1932, Archie Alexander entered politics and served as the, as the assistant chairman of the Iowa Republican State Committee. And in 1934, he was appointed as one of the 12 member commission as, a 12, as one of the 12 member commission to investigate the social and economic conditions in Haiti. In 1946, he was awarded an honorary Doctor of Engineering degree by Howard University. Later, in 1954, uh, President Eisenhower appointed Archie Alexander to be the governor of the United States Virgin Islands. Unfortunately, his uh, time in politics was short, as uh, he came under criticism for favoring old business partners and contracts for road building on St. Thomas, and he resigned on August 18th. 1955 amongst a bit of controversy but nonetheless you know his legacy and in the uh, his contribution to black history lives on in his um and in his inventions and in his uh and his uh designs as well he died on january 4th 1958 um, at the age of 69 and in 1975 upon the death of his wife audrey lindsay alexander the university of iowa um, Tuskegee Institute in Alabama and Howard University each received a substantial sum for engineering scholarships from a trust fund set up by Archie Alexander in his room dedicated to minority students and those who wanted to follow in his footsteps as well. So Archie Alexander, 
We thank you for your contribution to black history and to black culture, and we salute you. And that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Tune in again as we'll be having more uh, people and institutions that we'll be highlighting. So stay tuned.